Sorry, the sun's going down a little bit, so I'm getting a little blue. <laughs> Welcome back to my room. I just randomly kind of decided to do this video. So, if you all have just recently started following my, like recently subscribed to my channel or watching my videos, um, obviously I do the Disney College program. Some of you all may not know if you haven't watched uh, my video explaining it all that I actually self-termed from my second college program which self-term is Disney lingo basically for quit or leave the program early. Since self-terming, probably one of the most popular things that I get messaged about on Instagram or people contact me for is about self-terming and my kind of whole process with it. Because as far as I know, none of the YouTubers at least like the DCP vloggers that I watched had ever self-termed. So I didn't really know what that process was. I just kind of thought it was like this really bad thing <laughs> that you did if you were like super miserable or like hated your time there or anything. There's like this really big stigma around self-terming and it just felt like a really, really huge deal. And so I just thought I would make a video about it as to kind of, one, chill people out about self-terming a little bit and make it feel not so intense or scary, I guess. And second, because there are a lot of people who have commented, not commented, there are a lot of people who have contacted me um, if they're like really feeling down on their program and they're like considering self-terming, they've messaged me and asked about it. There are a lot of people who have gotten job offers back home or have to leave for certain reasons that have been considering self-terming and have asked me about it. And it's just, I think it's just a good thing to make a video about. And so I thought I would do that just in the hopes of being helpful to somebody and just kind of clear up the intensity of self-terming, I guess. I don't know. Okay, so first I kind of wanted to start out by addressing like kind of the feeling of self-terming <laughs> I don't know it's so weird like there was a lot of stuff going on in my life that led me to self-term not all bad things not like all terrible things but there was stuff that I was dealing with that just made self-terming the best option I'll just kind of before starting and saying like my actual story with the whole like process of self-terming, I just kind of wanted to address like a little bit of like the struggle that I went through once I had decided that I was self-terming and that I was ready to leave Disney and all of that. Like I, and I think it's like the kind of vlogger community that sets up this expectation a little bit, which I mean, I think the DCP channels do way more good for people than they do harm, for sure. Like, they're such a source of information and just understanding of what the program looks like. And they're so fun for people, like the, in, the actual vloggers who are making the channels. Like, it's so much fun for them and such a great experience while they're on their program. But, and I feel like I've kind of been an advocate for this the whole time. That, like, I want to be as real as possible and give you all, like, the realest the realist that sounded like very swag the realist um kind of understanding of the program which is why i have <laughs> made videos sobbing on my apartment floor and tried my best to just be super honest with you guys about what the program looks like and most of it being good but there are some negatives but I think that this kind of YouTube community sets up this expectation that it's all super fun and it's all super crazy and cool and a lot of the vloggers like stay down there and go part time and or go full time and get professional internships and do all of these things because that's what they want to do with their life and me going into it I had kind of set myself up for that expectation too like Oh, I've loved Disney my whole life. Like, I would love to 
you know, do the college program, get a professional internship, work for the company, that kind of just be what my life looked like. Maybe like a couple months into my program, I was like, oh yeah, like I could do this, I could move here, I could live here, this could be my life. And then like, the longer I was there, the more I realized that just really wasn't what I wanted to do and that wasn't what I wanted my life to look like. And I really honestly didn't love the what kind of turn my life took when I was down there I my priorities were kind of all out of whack and you don't really have anything to focus on there except Disney and on your job and while that's super fun for a little bit of time very quickly it kind of pulls you out of reality and into this Disney bubble and it's just like a weird a weird thing um that I like kind of struggled with being down there and just not really feeling like myself and I was kind of having these like simultaneously feeling the emotions of living out a dream that I had always had for myself and literally loving every single second of it while also feeling less connected to myself in a way and I had just kind of gotten my priorities out of whack. I wasn't in contact with my friends from home. I was hardly in contact with Jack. That was really hard. I just missed my family. I missed being around Jack all the time and I just missed my friends and just seeing my people all the time. Um, and granted, I made incredible, wonderful friendships while I was down there. But there's just something about the comfort of home and I had kind of lost connection with that and definitely just kind of had myself, my priorities out of whack. And so it's weird to be like simultaneously feeling so incredibly happy and like loving every second while also being so over the way that I felt just kind of about myself and who I had become and going to work every day with people who were negative and people who <laughs> had just been doing that job for so many years that they lost the magic and they lost the fun. Sorry, I have mosquito bites. If you can hear me itching through my leggings, I apologize. <laughs> so it was just like a weird state to be in. I had decided pretty early on um, that I was going to self-term. I think I decided mid-February, even though I ended up didn't end up leaving until April. Um, I knew that I was gonna self-term for a while. But, I don't know, it was just weird. I didn't know anyone else who had ever reached a point where they were kind of like over their program and like ready to go home. I really felt like there was something wrong with me. I was like, am I not, like I don't know, I just like felt like I was almost like embarrassed that I had decided to leave. I don't know. It, it was just like a weird feeling because I was so, it was like the most bittersweet thing in the world because I was so sad that I wasn't going to be in Disney with my friends anymore. And I was so sad that that kind of dream of mine was coming to an end. But like on a very real very realistic level like I was so over being down there and going to work every day but I was just I was so over it and I was ready to come home so it was weird to be feeling those two things both so truthfully and so deeply so it was just like a really hard th like thing to do to say goodbye but I don't know it was but I, fe I legitimately felt like there was something wrong with me. Like I, I don't know. It was weird. And so I wanted to make this video in like the hopes that if like if someone else is feeling that way, like it's totally okay. <laughs> like you don't have to love every second of your college program and it doesn't have to be what you want to do with your life. Like that is more than okay to want to go somewhere else and do something else with your life after Disney. Like, that is 110% okay. I can guarantee you life after Disney is still 
super fun and super incredible if you make it that way. Yeah, I just like, I legitimately felt like something was wrong with me and I was so embarrassed to talk about it and I felt like a crazy person because I was like voluntarily leaving. But whatever. All of that being said, this is already way too long of a video. I apologize. Um, but with all that being said, I've had a lot of people contact me about self-terming and just asking kind of all the details about it and all this stuff. And the I'll say this, if it's just because you're not having the best time or you're, you don't enjoy your job or you're having a weird roommate situation, whatever, I would say push through and do it because there is a, like, this video is so hard. Because this really and truly is a once in a lifetime chance. Unless obviously you come back and do a second program or go full time with the company, whatever. For a lot of people, this is a once in a lifetime thing. And there will be a point in your life, whether it's forever down the road, there's going to be a time that you look back on your college program and wish you could do it again no matter how much you hated it or how miserable you were like more than likely a few years down the road you will wish that you would have done more or tried harder to enjoy it or took more chances or things like that like there will be that point and so to anyone who's considering self-terming for the main reason that it just kind of is not fun at the time like I would say just be persistent and keep fighting through it and trying to enjoy it and make the most of it because at the end of it it's gonna feel so great that you stayed and that you accomplished it and you completed it and that's that one day you will look back and appreciate that because Truly, like, I'm never going to be a Disney employee again, probably. Like, never in my life. And so it's like I hold so tightly the memories and just that experience because that's something I'll never probably get to do again. And so there will be a point that you look back on it and just be so glad that you did it and that you fought your hardest to make the most of it. So in those cases, I would say, like, don't self-term. Stick it out. Try your hardest. And it will be worth it. But then of course there are situations that are different from person to person um, that are absolutely the right reasons to self-term and go home. And that was where I felt like I fit. I, I honestly never, never, never thought I would self-term from the program. I mean, I wanted to be one of those people that like went on their CP, extended, got a PI, went full time, like worked my way up in the company. like. I thought that's what I wanted to do so I felt absolutely crazy when I had finally decided to self-term. I felt like my reasonings were very justified and very necessary for me to come home and live the life that I wanted to live. Like I and I had said like I said before I had my pro priorities super out of whack when I was down there and if I wanted my life to look like what it looks like now after coming home, like leaving and self-terming was the right decision for me. I mean, I came home, I got engaged, which is like <laughs> a huge, huge reason why I came home. Sorry, the sun's going down a little bit, so I'm getting a little blue. <laughs> if it's a real straight up relationship, like when I came home, I knew I was getting engaged to Jack. So leaving made it worth it because I knew he was my future, he was my forever. It was a more than easy choice for me to come home and be like, yes, I'm prioritizing this relationship. This is what I want. You are what I want. That was super easy for me. All of that to say, there are definitely reasons to self-term and there are justified real feelings that people experience that make it okay to self-term. Like 110% okay. And I'm getting very blue, so I have to finish this before the sun goes down all the way. But, so then, okay, I'm done with the talking about that part. So then I wanted to like walk through really straight up like how I actually self-termed because I get a lot of people who are like, hey, I am self-terming from the program. 
how did you do it, what was your experience, la da da. So I just thought I would explain that. So I really didn't have any concept of how to self-term or like what to do. I was totally clueless. But one of my coworkers, Bailey, you all saw us um, at our her last IHOP. Hi Bailey, if you're watching, I love you. Um, and she was in my 100th video, video and one year celebration, whatever. Um, she had actually self-termed from her program for like quite a few reasons. Um, and so luckily I had kind of had that understanding of how she had done it, but not on a very like real level. I'll just kind of tell you what I did. When you're on your program, you have like the regular cast members and then coordinators who are over the cast members and then leaders who are over the coordinators. So it's kind of like this do 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 do. And obviously this will be different for work, like for different work locations, but this is how mine kind of operated. And some people call them managers or leaders or whatever. Mine were leaders. And there was my coordinators I was pretty close with. Um, and then a lot of my other coworkers I was really close with. And so the coworkers that I was close with that were like part-time or full-time employees, I had asked them about it and just kind of had conversations like, what do I need to do? Like, do I tell the leaders what, what all goes on? And so they had all pretty much told me to tell the leaders that I was self-terming and kind of go from there. And luckily it just kind of worked out that the leader that I was probably the closest with, um, like kind of more like on a personal, like I could talk to her on a friend level rather than like being scared of like, like a leader while still very respectful, but, um, we had like inside jokes and stuff. So she was actually leaving the cone shop the same week that I had decided to self term. And so I went to her just kind of separately and was like, Hey, I know that you're about to leave. Um, so I just wanted to ask you a few questions. I think I'm going to self term literally like the same day you're leaving. So I was just wondering what I do about it. Like, do I need to tell the other leaders? Could you tell the other leaders? Like what kind of goes on? And this is totally different for each. It might be different for each work location, but this is what my leader told me. Um, and she said that the leaders at your work location have absolutely no control over your schedule, over your anything. So she was like, honestly, if you don't, cause I told her I was kind of uncomfortable going to the other leaders and talking about it just because it made me feel weird. And I was already embarrassed that I was leaving. So I didn't really want to talk about it. Um, and she said that the leaders have no control over that. So she was like, if you don't want to tell them, you don't really have to, I can just kind of spread the word for you. Um, but she's like, you'll just need to talk to the people at your housing complex. They're the ones who kind of control your schedule and are in control of the college program students when it comes to self-terming and scheduling and all that stuff. And I was like, okay. So I kind of took that, my passive aggressive self <laughs> took that on as like, okay, I'm not telling any leaders about it. Kind of hoping she would spread the word. And if she didn't, I was like, oh, well, I'm just not going to show up for work the next day. <laughs> which is not very professional at all whatsoever. And I do not recommend that, but I'm passive aggressive and really just didn't want to talk about it. So that's what I did. It was my, the day before I was leaving. No. Actually, maybe this was my last day. I think it was my last, yeah. Okay, so it was my last day that I was leaving. So like the video that I just posted a couple weeks ago um, of my last day in the park, I had gone into Starbucks on Main Street and gotten a drink. And, and maybe this was the day. Why can't I remember anything? I don't remember getting Starbucks. Maybe I did. Whatever. It was either the day I was leaving or the day I was, oh, it was either my last day of work or the day before my last day of work. I don't remember. Regardless, I was in the park in the morning and I went into Starbucks to get a drink and I was telling one of my coworkers who works full time in Disney, um, who she was just kind of like a mom to all of us. We loved her. And um, she, I was telling her that I was self-terming. And when I told her, um, one of my leaders who was on a, like, I think he was on a professional internship. I'm honestly not really sure, but he was very young. He was like 18, but he was just like, had a lot of experience 
whatever. So he got put in a leadership position, I think for a professional internship. And so he was younger than all of us in a leadership position. So, um, I mean, and he was a leader, like he was on the leaderboard <laughs> at my work. Um, I don't say any of that to like downgrade him, but he was just like very new because he came in probably like a couple weeks before I was leaving. So I just didn't, I didn't really know exactly what his position was there. Tangent again, ha! But he walked in and he was really young, super cool, like we all loved him. But he walked in as soon as I was telling her that I was self-terming and I was like, oh, <laughs> shoot. And so when I came into work my shift later that night, he was still, um, he was still working. And so he pulled me aside. He's like, Sarah, can I talk to you for a second? I was like, yeah. And he was like, now did I hear you correctly? Like you said, you're self-terming and all this stuff. And I was like, yeah, la la la. And I told him that I had talked to my other leader and she said that I didn't really need to tell anyone about it that I could, but if I felt uncomfortable, I didn't have to. And so he just kind of pulled me aside and had like a personal conversation with me. And he was like, don't worry about it. I'll spread the word. So I honestly just thought that, thought that was pretty cool of him. So that was pretty much the only really conversation I'd had about it with my leaders. And I don't suggest that. I do suggest like talking to your leaders about it. Um, especially if you want to come back and do another program or you want to work for the company someday, like definitely talk to your leaders about it and just handle it in more, more of a professional way. I just knew, okay, more than likely I'm not going to come back and work for the company and I'm super passive aggressive. So I just didn't really want to talk to anyone about it because I don't like conflict and I was afraid they were going to get mad at me. So, but again, people literally self turn all the time and they, everyone was so chill about it. So don't feel like it's this huge big thing because everyone from my experience at least was really cool with it and i told all my coordinators that i was really close with that i was leaving um except one of my coordinators who i loved she was actually on a cruise so i didn't get to say bye to her but that's okay um and then my last night obviously we all went to ihop and did all that stuff that night we came home from ihop i didn't sleep that whole night <laughs> um, because i just kind of stayed up packing everything because I didn't really have time to pack before because that's the shame with self-terming is that like you leave during your work week. So you still have to go to work while you're self-terming. So you don't really have time to pack and you're also like wanting to enjoy all your last minute things. So you like go to the parks instead of packing, whatever. So that whole night I did not sleep um, and I just packed all night and got everything ready. And the way I did it, I had packed up my entire room and then... Once I was all packed and ready to go, I said goodbye to all my roommates, which was literally the worst thing ever. <laughs> so depressing. And then I drove to housing. So like wherever you like pick up your mail and all that stuff, that's kind of the place that you go. So I went over there and <laughs> I walked in sobbing my eyeballs out and told them there I was self-terming. I was like, I just need to self-term, so I need to talk to somebody about that. And they were so incredible. First of all, they asked me, okay, like, are you sure this is what you wanna do? Um, you know, once you do this, you can't decide to un-self-term, like it's a final decision, la di da di da And so I sat there and kind of explained it to them. I was like, no, like it's not really, um, a decision to be made or it's not really up for <laughs> discussion I was like it's a for sure thing I need to go I kind of explained to them all I explained to them the reasons and stuff and they were like so sweet literally they handed me a tissue because I was bawling my friggin eyes out so they like gave me a tissue and were just really sweet and super super nice about everything they didn't make me feel bad or make me feel guilty or anything I am so grateful to those people God bless the Patterson housing people. <laughs> They're so sweet. Um, so I self-termed and then you have to give them your housing ID and your little parking. If you have a car, you have to give them your little parking sticker off of your car. Um, so you have to give them those two things. So you have to turn those in right there. I'm pretty sure that if you tell housing you're self-terming, they give you 24 hours to be off of property and like have everything turned in. I'm not 100% sure on that, but that's like the general understanding of what I think happens. Um, so you could technically like self-term on a Tuesday 
and then actually leave on a Wednesday the next day but I just thought it would be easier and less difficult to just go ahead and I literally had packed up my entire room gotten everything out of my apartment into my car before I even self-termed and so I drove to housing with a packed car ready to leave and self-termed there turned in all my stuff and drove home so that's the way I did it um I don't know if everyone does it that way it was just easier process for me to kind of be done with saying all my goodbyes, doing all that stuff and just picking up and leaving. Like I didn't want to have to self term and then pack up my room and do all that stuff. And I don't know, it just felt easier for me to just say goodbye and then self term and leave. Um, so yeah, that was kind of my experience with it. I'm sorry that this video is literally going to be so long, but I do think it's important to talk about because I know, especially in like the vlogger community, there's not a lot of people that I know who have self-termed. So I just think it's a good video to kind of bring awareness to the fact like you're not a nutcase if you decide to self-term. Like it's normal emotions to be feeling. It's a normal decision to make. And it doesn't mean that you enjoyed your program any less and it doesn't mean that you got less out of it than anything else or than anyone else but it just means that you are ready to go home <laughs> so yeah and i know this video can be like super <laughs> seem super hypocritical because i'll tell you to stick out your program and do it for as long as you can even though i left but Again, I am super duper in support of anyone who decides to leave their program as well if it's for like a really justified good reason. Um, I'm all about it. So, yeah. There you go. So I am more than happy to answer any of your questions. So, feel free to comment down below if you have any questions about self-terming, like more specifics. Or, um, you can DM me on Instagram or whatever. I'll be sure to answer back. Um, cause I just want to be helpful and I think that's an experience that I've had that not a lot of other people have had. So I want to be able to put it out there and have you all use me as a resource, resource, <laughs> as a resource if you need. But again, your college program is literally a once in a lifetime opportunity and it really is so many people that want to do it and don't have the opportunity to. So if you get accepted, do your best to just like live it up and do as much as you possibly can um, because it really only does come to very few people and very few times in their life. So just enjoy it and love it and try your hardest to fight through it if you're struggling. Um, but just know that you're not alone. Like everyone else is feeling those same things even if they don't show it <laughs> and even if vloggers don't put it on the internet. Like people get sad and people have terrible, terrible days and it's not always fun all the time, but that's the realness of it. And that's what makes it such a good part of the experience because it does have low lows, but in contrast, you have the highest of highs. So it just makes it a really awesome experience. And so I would highly, highly, highly push everyone to just work through those feelings of loneliness and homesickness and get everything out of the program that you can. But if it comes to that time and you really do need to self-term, more power to you, you're not crazy for doing it. <laughs> Again, ask me any questions that you all like. I love you guys and I just appreciate you all. So that's it. And I, I really didn't want this video to be negative. So if it came off negative, I apologize. But I just want to be real because I think that's really important to be real. So um, yeah, that's it. I will see you guys again, hopefully in another video soon. And if you all have any videos that you want me to film, um, please let me know down in the comments below. I'm already planning on doing a spring college program versus a fall college program. Just kind of the comparison since I did both of them. So that's a video that I know I have coming up and a couple other things, but let me know what you all would like to see down below and hopefully I can get some of those made for you. So yeah, I will see you guys in the next video soon. Bye.